I've been jumping on a few calls with a few founders who are interested in getting help in launching, validating, and scaling their AI offer. People who are either maybe getting started and people who have already been uh, delivering, building, and releasing these AI systems into companies. And one of the recent calls that I jumped on, uh, the, the person ended up becoming a client, so he's going to be seeing this video. But it was such an important call for me because it reminded how things changed for me when I was starting out, okay? And it's so important that I think it's important for me to make a video about it. So, because I think a lot of people will want to get this lesson, okay? If you want to make money with this era of AI, you cannot follow your passion when building your AI company, okay? Any company in general. And I'll explain. When I got started, right? The way I got started was really simple. I did it kind of like most people. Uh, I was in a bunch of network marketing. I did a bunch of door-to-door -door sales. And then I started uh, buying a bunch of courses online, okay? And the courses that I ended up buying were, um, you know, I did agency, agency courses with, uh, I did Iman's. Uh, there was also a few other people who were doing it. I think even Cadbacks had an e-com agency course, right? Uh, then I did consulting accelerator by Sam Ovens. Uh, then I, you know, funnel hacked a bunch of people, learned how to leverage uh, you know, outbound prospecting uh, campaigns. Uh, I did, you know, Nick Cosman stuff. Uh, I didn't pay him. I just uh, kind of like got it for free on a downloadable. Someone was had scammed his course and put it on, on the internet. So I learned, you know, the process around agents, building an agency business in low cost. You know, you just get a bunch of contractors and they fulfill for you. All you have to do is just get clients. Uh, then I learned Consulting Accelerator, this idea of helping people bridge a gap. You know, there's people who are in an industry where things have changed, okay? So I learned how to do consulting, and then I learned how to do client acquisition through Alban Prospecting, and you know also other things like you know leveraging VAs for outreach, okay? All of this, I learned it before 2020. By 2020, by summer of 2020, I was already a pro at most of these things. I already had all the knowledge, okay? But I was still broke, okay? Until June of 2020, 20, June 23 of 2020, I decided to quit my job. And here I was making a Snapchat saying that uh, I got two potential contracts, but that was not true. I didn't necessarily end up closing anyone. Okay. And for six straight months, the only clients that I closed was this coach here. He paid me 4.3K. And by the way, this, this first paycheck was, was giving me more dopamine than I probably will ever experience in a lifetime. Okay, your first ever deal will be will change your life because it, it shows you the proof of concept that you can take an idea, quit your job, and invest yourself into something and change your life. Because I was making two thousand dollars a month at this job, so getting four point three k up front was life changing. It was two months worth of work. So literally for two months I could do nothing and I would have more money than I would have made on my job working forty hours a week. Okay, now, but the important lesson I want to show you here is that from twenty twenty. From summer of 2020 all the way to uh, January of 2021, I only made like four to 10K from my agency, okay? It was sad. And do you know why it was sad or why I didn't make any money? It's because I had focused on taking what I got from, I think, Consulting Accelerator. I took his VSL funnel from Sam Ovens. I'm like, oh, Sam Ovens is using this funnel to get clients. I can take this funnel and go sell it to other coaches and consultants who probably don't know anything about Sam Ovens. They don't know how to get clients online. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take this. Then I'm going to leverage VAs to get, uh, to get me clients. And I would get meetings by leveraging my VAs with these coaches. But six months later, I still was incapable to cross 10K per month until the following happened. I decided that, you know what, I'm not going to be selling what I want to sell, nor am I going to be selling to the people that I want to sell to, okay? And instead, I decided to pick uh, a market that I was familiar with and a market that I had access to, who were other agency owners, service providers, anyone who had an online service business and who needed sales calls. And from that moment on, as you can see here, January, December of 28, I got my first $1,000 paycheck from a client. By mid-January, I had crossed my 10K per month. By 
uh, what time, which I don't know which month this was, but I think this was like um, March. I was already getting $24,000 paychecks sent wire to my bank account, okay? And by, I was already making 23K in monthly recurring revenue by March. So let me check this out. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. I did not, I did not go to school to get a degree on how to run a business. The only thing that changed was I picked a market that I could access. And the thing that I was selling them was the thing that I had solved for myself, which was how do you use VAs to get meetings? It was affordable. It was predictable. It was like, you know, if I come to you and I say, hey, I can do 100, 200 hours a day on your behalf, pay me a thousand bucks a month. It's pretty straightforward. Most people building companies today, especially in the AI era, are going to make this mistake. They're going to have in mind a specific market they want to go after. And then they're going to do cold email. They're going to do cold outreach. They're going to do all things. Try to sell people this thing that they think is good. But you're going to waste six months, 12 months, two years, three years of your life selling to people you can't easily access. And most importantly, selling them something they don't even care to buy. Okay? This is one of the most important lessons that you need to have about business. Business has nothing to do with what you want. It has all to do with the market you decide to help and the problem you decide to solve for them. Let me show you the seven traits that we focus on when picking markets. We want people who have a high customer lifetime value. Meaning their clients are worth 10000 or more over their lifetime. So if I go to HVAC businesses, they're probably going to make $10,000 or more from, uh, from their customers. If you go in solar, they're probably going to make more than $10,000 from their customers. If you go after service providers who sell services, you know, marketing services, uh, consulting services, their client is probably going to be worth over $10,000. So that's important. Visible pain and urgency. You need to solve a pain that they cannot live, that they cannot ignore throughout their life. Meaning, the reason why people were throwing me their $700 here, $700, uh, $4,000, $900, is because they needed meetings for their business to, to function. It wasn't a, oh, it's cool, I can get back to it whenever I want to. It wasn't like, oh, let, help, can I help you do content? Oh, but I don't want content. Like, you know, I can get back to it. It was without calls on their calendar, they die. Okay, the next thing was fragmented competition. There, there needs to be a market of a bunch of people solving this problem in a weird way, but no one solution that is great. Okay, the next one is you need to have them be, you know, they're under leverage with AI. They need to not have fully adopted AI. So you cannot sell AI to people who are in the world of AI. As one example, I see a lot of people wanting to go after selling to tech companies, but it's like those people are already tech first, like they're running technology companies, so they understand AI probably better than you do. So stay away from those people, okay? And the next thing we want to solve is there needs to be a high recurring need. It needs to be an ongoing problem, meaning you, if you can't try to solve one-time problems. You need to be like, oh, what is the reoccurring thing that they deal with over and over or that they need more of over and over again? Because that means that you're gonna get recurring revenue and you're gonna be able to retain them or the thing you sell to them that solves that reoccurring problem makes your solution way more valuable, okay? As an example, integrating one system may not be as valuable as integrating AI agents that set calls for a business. Like as long as they need calls, that, is, is that, that AI setting agent can be worth 50 bucks to integrate or it can be worth $50,000 upfront because the value of it is dependent on the value of the thing that it solves. And appointment setting is a great value for different businesses, okay? And of course, growing or transforming, uh, you know, there's like a transformation happening and a platform shift. But here's one of the most important thing that I think changed my life. The ability to access the market you're going after. Easily find and reach buyers through paid ads, outbound or communities. The reason why I scaled so fast is because I had access to the right people without even, I could literally wake up, open my phone, and I could find who I wanted to sell to. It's the same thesis we have with our clients, 
we're not launching businesses where we cannot acquire clients through paid ads. And we need it to be affordable. Accessibility to the market you're selling to is the most important variable ever. Forget about the thing you're even trying to sell them. Nobody cares about the thing you're trying to sell them. If you can't access easily, if you can't spend, I mean, I was making this video yesterday. If you can spend uh, 50, $100 and get sales calls, get out of that market, right? We have this client who launched uh, his uh, ads and in the first 24 hours before, booked four calls, spending $500 a month on ads. This is, this is the, the key that most people will never tell you. They're just saying, oh, focus on AI, focus on AI, focus on AI. No, 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 no. Don't focus on AI whatsoever. Go acquire clients. Can you access the market? Do you even know who you, who you can go after? To the degree that you can access the people you want to sell to, to the degree that you can then focus on a problem, a pain that has high urgency, that they are fully aware of, and then use AI to solve that problem, will dictate if you go from being broke in your basement, faking as if you, you're actually smart, like I was here, you know, going through all these courses, you know, being disciplined, meditating every day, to the degree that you can focus, solve that problem, will dictate if you can go from either you stay stuck in this niche, in this problem, selling stuff that people don't want to buy, and you only make five, 10K a month in six months, or you start getting $25,000 wires to your bank account, because even if you're still commoditized like I was here, only getting a thousand bucks, $1,500 per client, at least you're getting a shit ton of people to buy from you. Okay? Because if you can access them, who cares if you even sell them $500 ticket? Nobody cares. Because you, can have, you have hundreds of them that you can sell to. Right? But, of course, to grow, you need to become a premium. So for me, 12 months later, I pivoted from selling a commoditized, done-for-you um, thing to actually building and releasing these appointment setting systems and teams into their businesses, right? So November 2021, I scaled to 60K cash per month. Uh, by for the following year, November, I was making 100K a week, 97K a week, 96K a week, and I crossed my first million dollars in 90 days and uh, half a million dollars in four weeks in cash collected. But you see... This would have never been possible. Like this was only possible if I solved this problem first, which was solving for the right market that has high value. Their customers have a high LTV. They have a visible pain. Like I'm not, I wasn't selling them like, oh, can I come clean your car? No, 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 no. I was like, hey, you want to live your dreams? This one problem is keeping you from living your dreams and I can help you solve it. But you're going to have to pay me 10, 15 grand. Boom, they pay it. Fragmented competition. It was a fragmented market. No one was a, a, a winner, right? AI wasn't there yet, but my mechanism was VAs. So right now, the same trend that is happening with AI, back then it was with VAs. Like people wanted VAs. People didn't necessarily know how to get VAs to do outreach for them. So I took advantage of that shift to kill it, okay? And uh, it was super easy for me to, to reach the people that I was trying to sell to. So if you can understand this with your AI offer, you can change your life. But please don't start, don't focus on the AI whatsoever. Focus on who you're trying to sell to, okay? And make sure they're accessible. If you need help with it, um, you can always message me on Instagram, Serge Gattari. Uh, if you need help with, uh, you know, building your offer, building your acquisition, um, you know, we have a lot of data on a lot of different markets uh, that work because we've sold in so many markets, different systems. Um, then, you know, just message me. We'd love to have you uh, join our community of people uh, building and releasing a lot of these AI growth solutions um, and, you know, give you access to what data we have, help you launch everything, help you get clients and help you not waste three years of your life trying to validate something, trying to sell something that nobody wants. Okay? Love you. Bye-bye.